It's been a record shutdown for the Golden Gate Bridge, the first time in history it's been shut down an entire weekend. Still lots of pedestrians and bicyclists on the bridge, but no traffic except for escorted buses. You guys ready? Yes, we're ready when you are. The shutdown was to install a $30 million movable barrier to prevent all too often head-on collisions on the Golden Gate Bridge. Traffic shifts on the bridge to accommodate rush hour traffic. New yellow zipper trucks will now roam the orange bridge in advance of rush hours, catching the 3,517 links, each solid concrete encased in steel, at each weighing 1,500 pounds into alignment along these blue lines to change the number of lanes in either direction. This thing was put together one link at a time, so it's like a chain just laying on the pavement, and the barrier's designed to operate with just a little bit of tension all the way along, and that tension needs to be uniform along the, along the length, the 11,000 foot length of the barrier. So that tension is introduced to the barrier because it was installed link at a time, there's no tension on it right now, is installed by running that barrier machine back and forth across the bridge several times. Since 1970, head-on collisions on the Golden Gate Bridge have killed 16 people and changed the lives of countless others in 128 head-on collisions. Uh, it was a catastrophic head-on collision with her daughter in the car with her. Uh, Grace was in a coma for 48 days and had multiple surgeries for broken bones and injured organs. And she, but fortunately, after that period of time, she woke with cognitive abilities. I decided to drive in what we all call the suicide lane, just because traffic was really slow. Sabrina was right beside me. She was doing her homework. Mac was stretched out on the back seat. And that was our situation. I'm so grateful. I had that feeling about every one of the directors who voted to build this median barrier. I am so grateful. The median barrier moved by this zipper truck is a safety innovation of our day. It's so exciting. It's, it's about safety for drivers. It's about safety for workers. 21 years ago this month, my husband was killed in an automobile accident. It wasn't here on the bridge, it was on a city street. But I can't help but be reminded of that day as I stand here before you this moment. There's always a lot of debate about this movable barrier, but let's remember that the primary mission of any government is public health and public safety. This barrier will end that will end the collisions on the Golden Gate Bridge. And this morning you've heard how, how absolutely devastating uh, these collisions can be. This barrier marks a change for the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a step forward in safety and a step forward to a brighter future. And our final speaker will be Supervisor Steve Kinsey and been a leader at the MTC and one reason we've been able to get the funds for this. We've been very appreciative of MTC's efforts over the years. MTC is more than an alphabet agency. It is a remarkable partner with the Bridge District in many different ways. And this is one important way. The suicide barrier uh, that uh, will be erected next year is another example. And of course, the magnificent Doyle Drive uh, retro, uh, retrofits that will create a, a historic gateway into uh, the city of San Francisco is another example of how MTC working as a regional partner with the Bridge District and others is able to make this a better place and a remarkable achievement for our, our entire region. I would just say for me, I would like this to be a day of celebration for all those whose safety is assured going forward and a moment of reflection for those who this day could not come soon enough. On the Golden Gate Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.